On a beautiful day in July, John Sobrato stopped by the Sobrato Summer Learning Academy to see firsthand how the program is shaping brighter futures. Favorite thing is here is science and math. Really? That's terrific. That's terrific. The Sobrato Academy on Myrtle Street in East Palo Alto, California is one of five campuses on the peninsula where certified teachers provide academic instruction to first through eighth grade students with more than 100 high school students volunteering. Funding from the Sobrato Family Foundation has doubled the size of the program run by the boys and girls clubs of the peninsula. It's so important to have this bridge during the summertime to keep the kids engaged, keep them off the streets, have something to do and this program combines both academics with recreation, which is a really unique and very forward-thinking approach. The Sobrato Summer Learning Academy, serving nearly 800 students, is drawing attention as a model of summer academic enrichment for boys and girls clubs around the country. One of the things that Boys and Girls Clubs of America do, is doing is trying to take a greater responsibility for helping our kids succeed academically. The fact is, in urban communities like East Palo Alto, across the country, over half the kids are dropping out of high school today. So we are now taking responsibility for helping our kids not only develop life skills, but also succeed in school. So the Sobrato grant has been tremendous, both in terms of helping us expand the breadth of our program, as well as the depth. With budget cuts to California public schools, many school districts have reduced or eliminated summer classes entirely. The Sobrato Family Foundation is helping to fill the gap with a focus on math, science, and literacy all very structured with a lot of opportunities for small group instruction where the teacher could be working with the other staff members and volunteers to break the larger group of students into smaller groups so that each child really receives more individualized attention. My name is Jenna Creer and I'm an elementary school teacher. I'm teaching a 3-4 combo, 5 fourth graders and 15 third graders and we're focusing on uh, Language arts, math, and science is just so hugely beneficial. I've even had to students be like, give me more math problems because I want to get better at math. And it's just that review every day, even just an addition problem a day. By the end of the summer, they won't be so confused. They'll remember how to round. They'll remember you have to carry the one instead of three months off, where you kind of forget those subtle little things that help you out. I'm Clarissa Rothi. I've been teaching for 16 years. This summer, I'm tasked to teach the three classes of math. I have fifth grade, sixth grade, and a combo seventh and eighth grade. But Clarissa is teaching more than just math equations. As of today, we've already talked about their jobs, careers in the future. Um, their team leaders talked to them about college courses that they're going to need, what they need in high school to get to the right colleges. Getting all students from first graders on up to start thinking about college is another unique aspect of the academy. The more we use the language of what happens next and how to get there and what are the steps that they need to be taking now to be able to be prepared for college, the more likely they're actually going to make it a goal to reach that. This year, the Sobrato Family Foundation has committed $527,000 to Boys and Girls Clubs programs, with nearly half funding the majority of the Summer Learning Academy expansion. The donation is a challenge grant that encourages other donors to help grow this successful program. Uh, we've covered the operational costs and we're hopeful that uh, the Boys and Girls Club of Peninsula will be able to raise matching funds to what we've granted so, so they can continue this program, program, program in the future. We have to show the community that it's working and hopefully that will engage other donors. Because of Mr. Sobrato, he's made this all possible for us, so what do we want to tell him? Thank, Thank you, Mr. Sobrato! Well, keep up the good work, okay? Okay. okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. you. Good. Thank you.